Maybe you're old school and everything you just heard sounds like garbage and the guitar tones are not what you're into. Or maybe you've comp in the last 20 years or a little bit less. And these kind of sounds are the sounds that you know from the bands that you love. And when I say something in the title, like our amps dead, or I ask that question, what I'm getting at is that whatever generation you're from, the sounds that make up the music of that generation are the tones that you are going to love. Imagine if technology evolved kind of backwards and the Axe effects and Kemper and Quad Cortex now now, were the things that were the sounds of old music, and tube amps were this newfangled kind of gear, and all the old school guys were hearing this stuff and talking about how these tube amps sounded awful and these tones are just garbage. And I've got another argument here that is definitely going to piss some people off, and I'll get to that in a second. Let me roll my intro first. I'm not gonna string you along on this video. I'm gonna get right to my argument here and I'm going to make a bold statement. I am willing to bet that at least 75% of the people who say that amps sound way better than modeling gear would never be able to pick out the difference in a mix, in a mix. That's the key point here, because obviously when you're playing through an amp, you have a big speaker usually, and it's on the floor, and you've got the feeling of it pushing air in the room. But that's not what's captured in the mix. That's not even good in the mix. You have to scoop out a lot of those signals that you like kind of hitting you in the face, because they fill up the mix too much and compete with the bass. Those sounds are kind of useless in a full band mix setting, and I would dare the snobbiest of amp snobs to listen to something in a mix back to back and tell the difference between an amp and a modeled signal. You think I'm wrong? Let's try it. Maybe you're in that percentage of people who can actually hear it. I'm going to do three different pieces of music here, short, eight measures a piece, and I'm going to show A and B in each one as I go back and forth. One of them, A or B, is going to be a real amp, and one of them, A or B, is going to be a model or a profile of that same amp. And I'm not going to say which one until next week. I'll release a video on Tuesday kind of giving the answers to the key, and we'll see how many people can actually get it right. Maybe the internet will prove me wrong. Let's roll the music and find out. Okay guys, let's see how you do. I'm really curious. And until next time, of course, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.